What's going on my printer peeps? Today we're going to be installing the Ranar DX200. Uh, that thing there in that box. <clears throat> and um, yeah, let's get to it. There are supplies in here and everything. So we're going to try and uh, get all the supplies out. Get all the packaging out and uh, get started with the build. Hopefully I can do it with this camera and you get some good shots here we go right, i'm gonna unpack all these supplies because they, they um stacked a bunch of supplies uh inside the box as well uh i bought a uh screen printing kit actually i built my own kit and uh just the things that i needed to get started with and uh so in this box they put all the supplies so we're probably going to fast forward this and uh you know because this isn't part of the install By the way, I'm going to be going all over all these supplies in another video and just to basically tell you guys what I got, what kind of package I created, and uh, and probably every single piece that I got for this kit. Uh, hopefully it won't be a long video, but uh, hopefully it'll, I don't know, just be content, you know? Tons of squeegees, tons of squeegees. Well, not tons, but I got squeegees. I will move to the aluminum. This is just to start off with, because uh, the aluminum does cost a little bit more. So, just to start off with, but I will upgrade soon. I'm going to probably stop it here because I'm just going to be wasting video trying to get this bad boy out of the box. So I'm going to cut it off here and then we'll come back when uh, I have everything out and I have you guys in a better position. Two inch screws. Well, maybe. Yeah, one and a half. One and three quarters. Or some long screws. All right, those long screws were holding these um, <clears throat> we're holding these things together so that the the um the box didn't squeeze together 
So now that's free. And this one is free. Yeah, we're still out of the box yet. It's been about 10 minutes. I had to move that bad boy. I had to move that over a little bit so I can get some room in here. But uh man, I, I have my drills in my shed in my backyard, so I had to do it by hand. I'm gonna take a breather, I'm gonna get this sucker out, and then we'll be back. Okay, <clears throat> I got everything out the box. I took the the uh, stress bars or whatever you want to call it, unscrewed those, and the first step is uh, after, actually it says after removing the dryer out the shipping container, uh, lay the unit on its side so the bottom is accessible for you to work, uh, for you to work on it. <clears throat> but what I did is I just put it on, I left it in the carton <clears throat> so I scooted it, um, I scooted it out and then I flipped it <clears throat> on its side because I didn't want, even though this may be just a shipping bolt, sorry, that this may be just a shipping bolt right here, but I still didn't want uh, for it to be hitting the, the concrete <clears throat> and maybe just mess up the threads or, or anything like that. So it's actually <clears throat> on the bottom side, but there's, uh, there's one by fours there at the bottom and it's actually <clears throat> not hitting anything so i'm gonna see if i can uh see if i can zoom out I think that's, the, that's the most i can zoom out uh i'm gonna see if i can do it this way and work on its side like this <clears throat> and if not then we'll take it out of the carton but i think we'll be able to do it like this because this is basically out of the box already or out of the carton so um yeah, let me put you guys somewhere where you can see. Okay, so now we got, I, we got to identify the four legs <clears throat> and the two braces. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Um, they are packaged in these brown, uh, brown packaging, brown paper. So here is one, <clears throat> here is two, and I'll get you guys closer uh, views of everything later. <clears throat> so I'll take a piece of the other, piece of the other legs. nicely powder coated these are it's pretty nice <clears throat> I like the textured look of it <clears throat> so here are the two braces all right and we'll figure out where those go in a second all right we're going to do uh, one of the legs I can get over here uh, if I can do uh, one of the legs and then the other one is just uh, just repeated. So we're going to do uh, attach the cross uh, bar to the two legs using two bolts, four washers, and two nuts, a uh, washer on each side. And you want to do the cross uh, support bar uh, facing uh, outward like this. <clears throat> So we're going to have the bolt, um, and actually I'll show you, I can show you now. <clears throat> we're going to have the, um, the bolt and then the washer, and then we're going to have a washer on the inside, uh, a washer on the inside and then the nut on top of it. And we'll give you a close up of all that. 
washer, nut and washer. Washer in there, and then a nut. And then we'll get the other bolt and washer. Put a washer on the other side, and then the nut. Okay, and then we'll tighten them up. Okay, so that is one leg. I'm going to go ahead and give you a little close up and show you exactly what we did. Alright, so these are the legs. The front or the rear, they are assembled the same. Uh, what you want to do is is get the two legs and make sure that the support bracket is facing uh, outward. So we're going to put this one on the front. <clears throat> so you have uh, your two bolts and then your washers on both sides. Okay. And then you have your. <clears throat> The same thing on this side. Well, let's look at on this side. It's probably a little bit better. You have your uh, washer on the inside and then your nut. Uh, on the outside. And it'll be the same thing, same thing for that side. Can't see it's in the shadows, but it's pretty much the same thing. Or actually, it is the same thing. <clears throat> so... I'm sorry I'm making you guys dizzy, uh, but hopefully you can see that. And maybe I'll just do the second leg and just have you watch the process. <clears throat> and um, I don't know, just have fun watching it. done all right the next step is going to be uh, actually putting the legs onto the unit uh, so let's get started with that so we're going to use four washers or four bolts uh, eight washers and four nuts to go on and there's just going to be two uh, on this side and two on the bottom Washer, 
Bam. One side is done. That side is done there. Actually, I forgot to move it to the bottom, but you get the idea. And then you just do the same thing for the other side. But yeah, let me uh, let me take you in, and then we'll uh, we'll probably take you back out and show you later. <clears throat> so you just have the uh, you have the the bolt and the washer and then you have a washer and the nut <clears throat> and that's for four times and then we're going to do the other side over there and we'll come back when we're done highly recommend you use two people to lift that up because it is kind of heavy what do you want to see me? I ain't going to talk you already did. I'm going to edit all this stuff out. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Let me just flip it on, grab the sides. Let me just flip it onto the... Actually, you know what? Oh, what? Actually, you know what? We bought some optional coasters. I mean, casters. <laughs> We're going to put the casters on real quick. Put these two inch casters on there and bolt them on there just so we can roll it around the shop you know what I'm saying So now we're gonna flip it. Well, you see what this on? Gotta do that thing. Oh, good. Just grab it from the this and the other side. Oh, like this. And the other side. struggles of a garage screen printer. Space. Yeah, space. <laughs> oh. space. Oh. Oh. Sorry, I'm a little <laughs> And uh, so the did you choose the color? So, what we're gonna do? No, so run that to the back all the way around. Actually, you know what? Let me uh. So I guess, I think this is what they call an alligator clip. You're gonna pull out the, uh, the pin. And then put these 
two together. Just like that. And then put the uh, pin right through it. That's it. And so let's go ahead and turn it around so we can adjust it all the way back around. Brandon, you should. Boy. All right, this is his, uh, he don't, <laughs> my nephew don't screen print, so uh, I forgot to tell him to go around the belt. I mean, you have to go around the whole thing. So let's take that out. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. All right, so put that and go around the whole thing. So loose. And that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do. And then whenever we get it started, if it starts uh, going off track, uh, we'll show you how to mess with the adjustments to uh, put it back on track. And that's it for the install of the DX200, the Ranar. With the help of my nephew, check out his channel. He's about to have a channel coming up soon. He's gonna be doing some vlogs and all that stuff. <laughs> We'll get his channel up here soon. I don't know what he's gonna do. I think he like. Uh, I think he does like pranks and stuff like they all do these days. All right. Well, then. I did want to show you guys um, to how to install the knobs. All right. So basically, you're just gonna take this nut out, and there's a block. There's a shipping. A block in there um, that you can see on the, from the top view there uh, you're just gonna take the, the the bolt out I mean that nut you're gonna take the bolt take it out and then we're gonna slide this in there or screw it in there and then we're going to slide that on tighten the uh, that little screw that's in there uh, the set screw I guess you can call it all right so you're gonna use a 9 16 ratchet just to take it out so now we're going to put the knob in now we're going to put the the collar that has the screw in there. I would I would tight I would tighten it as much as you can. Okay, hopefully you got a hopefully you got a somewhat of a view. <clears throat> but zoom out. That is zoomed in. So the set screw 
or the collar has that hex uh, screw in there you're just going to put it on that collar or the non-threaded part and just tighten it to it's snug and then you're just going to that's pretty much it that's just how it stops uh, but we're going to do the other side and see if we can get a the same type of shot the good thing it's on wheels I tell you if you get this dryer go buy some uh, two inch wheels they're like five five something each um, but it's worth it uh, so now we're going to just take the bolt out <clears throat> we're going to loosen this collar okay so we're going to basically um, put the collar right there okay it doesn't go any further so once it's once it's in there uh, you're going to use your hex screw and screw it snug uh, to where that this doesn't come off and then you're just going to use this is going to be the flat end and that's going to be used to hold the heater however you want it I have it in there about one fourth of the way I'll go ahead and see if I can get a shot of that in there it's about one fourth of the way <clears throat> and now I'm going to use the hex wrench and holding it and then using the wrench to tighten it up all right it's snug all the way tight now I'm just going to use this to tighten it but I'm not going to do that right now I'm going to pick up the heater So that is pretty much it uh, to install the knobs pretty simple and uh, you'll want to start off with like three inches uh, the heater three inches off the belt I believe that's a good starting point um, to do your your plastisol prints and we'll be back